Good morning, everyone. This is take two of morning prayer on Thursday, the 2nd of September. I have no idea. There are gremlins running around. I don't know. But this is morning prayer. And just a reminder, my book is out and you can go buy it and make me rich. But no, it probably would never happen. So here for morning prayer, I just want to remind you that uh, the Mission to North America is setting up um, um, a disaster relief team down in Louisiana. And I'm going to put in the comment section at the beginning a link to them to donate to them uh, as well. I want to say happy birthday to Erwin Entz. I can't believe it, Erwin. You made it this far. Erwin Entz, happy birthday. And Kevin Bush, here's a celebration. That's it, guys. We're going to pray for you in just a moment. Right now, for morning prayer, we're reading our way through the Trinity Hymnal. We are at 314, a metro, metrical, a poetic version of Psalm 2. We're just going to read verse 1, 3, and 5. This is number 314. Oh, wherefore do the nations rage? Oh, wherefore do the nations rage and kings and rulers strive in vain against the Lord of earth and heaven to overthrow Messiah's reign? By God's decree, his son receives the nations for his heritage. The conquering Christ supreme shall reign as king of kings from age to age. Delay not lest his anger rise and ye should perish in your way. Lo, all that put their trust in him are blessed indeed and blessed alway. That was 314 of Wherefore Do the Nations Rage. And now for our Bible reading, we're just working our way through Luke. We're at Luke 23, verses 6 through 31. When Pilate heard this, he asked whether the man was a Galilean. And when he learned that Jesus belonged to Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him over to Herod, who was himself in Jerusalem at that time. When Herod saw Jesus, he was very glad, for he had long desired to see him because he had heard about him. And he was hoping to see him, see some sign done by him. So he questioned him at some length, but he made no answer. And the chief priests and the scribes stood by vehemently accusing him. And Herod with his soldiers treated him with contempt and mocked him. Then arraying him in the splendid clothing, he sent him back to Pilate. And Herod and Pilate became friends with each other that very day, for before this they had been at enmity with each other. Pilate then called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was misleading the people. And after examining him before you, behold, I did not find this man guilty of any of your charges against him. Neither did Herod, for he sent him back to us. Look, nothing deserving death has been done by him. I will therefore punish and release him. But they all cried out together, Away with this man and release to us Barabbas, a man who had been thrown into prison for an insurrection started in the city and for murder. Pilate addressed them once more, desiring to release Jesus. But they kept shouting, Crucify, crucify him. A third time he said to them, Why? What evil has he done? I have found in him no guilt deserving death. I will therefore punish and release him. But they were urgent, demanding with loud cries that he should be crucified, and their voices prevailed. So Pilate decided that their demands should be granted. He released the man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder, for whom they asked. But he delivered Jesus over to their will. And as they led him away, they seized one Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. And there followed him a great multitude of the people, and of women who were mourning and lamenting for him. But turning to them, Jesus said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us into the hills, cover us. For if they do these things when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? That was Luke chapter 23, verses 6 through 31. Again, as I pointed out yesterday, Pilate and all the law is kept saying over and over again, There's no guilt in this man. I find no guilt in him. He is innocent. And so the one who was actually innocent before the law is condemned as a sinner for his people. There you go. So now we're going to pray. Lord, we uh, thank you, Lord, so much for Erwin and Kevin for their this their day, their birthday. We pray that you would uh, fill their day with good with good things that they would celebrate and rejoice in your kindness. We ask you, Lord, that you would um, help them as they reflect over their past. They would see how you have walked with them, and it would cheer their hearts. We pray for this coming year that they would grow 
in stamina and strength. They would grow in grace, that they would fight the good fight of the faith. They would find themselves flourishing and thriving in Christ. Lord, we pray for our denomination's Mission to North America Disaster Response Team, that you would preserve and protect them. We pray that you would supply all the funds that they need and resources and the personnel. Keep them safe as they are there in Louisiana. Lord, we pray that you would be with Chaplain Captain Daniel Yoon, who is deployed to Latvia and Romania with the U.S. Army. We ask you to bless him while he's there working. We pray that you would help him to stay focused upon Christ that he would be able to build a good relationship with his new battalion commander, and that he would be able to minister to the soldiers that are there faithfully, and um, and that you would watch over him. Lord, we pray for young Emmanuel uh, with Compassion International. Uh, we pray that you'd help him and be with him there in Tanzania, that you would restore his health so he can play and attend school. Well, Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow after us, that we may continually be given to good works. We pray for that for all your people. We pray that for uh, the ones we've already lifted up to you. And we pray that for the Heritage Needlework Guild. Lord, may all they do glorify you. May their time together be a time of true fellowship, growing with one another, growing towards one another, in Christ, growing towards you together. May uh, their work truly serve those in need, and also may their time of fellowship be a time that unbelievers, people that don't know you, could be invited in and see this community, uh, and that seeing the community, they would they would want to know more about what holds these disparate women together, and they would be able to show them Jesus. And we even the Heritage Needlework Guild would see people come to Christ. Uh, we pray for our friends Scott and Jonelle. Keep them safe as they travel. Pray for our friends Bob and Denise. And for our friends Carrie and Erica. Ask that you show them all, all these friends, your goodness, your provision, your mercy, day by day. They would grow in knowing your love, your love for them, and also grow in loving you and loving others. Uh, Lord, it's in you that we live and move and have our being. And so for all these, for all of us, we humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Lord, we thank you that our Lord Jesus Christ was declared innocent more than once so that we would remember, we would always know that our Lord Jesus uh, who knew no sin, became sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Lord, help us through this day. Watch over us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. There you go, friends. That was morning prayer take two on this Tuesday or this Thursday, the 2nd of September. We'll be back again, Lord willing, tomorrow. Uh, until then, the God of pe uh, uh, peace be to the brothers and love with faith from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with love incorruptible. Amen.